Hey guys, Josh here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing the LG 27 UD68W monitor. Coming in at a highly affordable price point of just under $500, I think this just might be the best monitor I've ever seen. So, without a doubt, let's get started. The LG 27UD68W Ultra HD 4K monitor delivers some jaw-dropping visuals and will definitely be the weapon of choice for many content creators and hardware enthusiasts. So let's start off with some of the specs. The 27UD68 features a stunning 27-inch 3840x2160 IPS panel with a refresh rate of 60Hz, paired with a 5 milliseconds gray to gray response time, which is very respectful given that it's an IPS display. The monitor also offers a color gamut of 99% sRGB color spectrum coverage with a dynamic contrast ratio of 5 million to 1. The IPS panel delivers a peak screen brightness of 356 nits, making the colors outstanding and highly realistic without any color calibration needed. That being said, adding just a smidge of color calibration could make it that much better. In addition, Thanks to its IPS panel, this monitor offers superior wide viewing angles of up to 178 degrees with very minor color shifting. One of the major selling points of this monitor would have to be the AMD FreeSync technology. With FreeSync activated, this will effectively eliminate screen tearing, stuttering, and input lag by synchronizing its on-screen frame rate to the GPU's frame rate. Although this will require the use of a DisplayPort 1.2a input and of course a compatible AMD GPU. Out of the box, the monitor comes factory color calibrated supporting Adobe sRGB 99% color spectrum coverage with additional support for up to 1.07 billion colors. This is achieved by utilizing temporal frame rate control dithering to produce a 10-bit output, provided that you also must have a 10-bit compatible GPU and 10-bit aware software. As far as the physical overview goes, the 27UD68 comes in two flavors, black and white. The black model being the 27UD68P. The 27UD68W features a glossy white chassis surrounded by a beautiful silver frame while being accented by a curved silver plastic stand that resembles the look of brushed aluminum, inside being a piece of metal for added structural support, although that being said, it's not the most stable stand I've seen. The monitor is very thin and sports an edge-to-edge -edge panel making the bezels literally non-existent. Good job, LG. As of the monitor stand, if you're looking forward to height adjust, swivel, and pivot, you're out of luck as the stand only features tilt, but I can forgive this due to the vase mount compatibility on the back. I find that this is becoming a trend with LG monitors, as my 34UM95-P is also only limited to tilt. Connectivity-wise, the 27UD68 offers some of the most advanced connectivity options among other 4K monitors in its price range coming in with dual HDMI 2.0 inputs, one DisplayPort 1.2a adaptive sync input, one 3.5mm audio out, a power jack, and a Kensington lock. The big brother of this monitor, the LG 27UD88, features the addition of a USB Type-C input and dual USB 3.0 ports, something the 27UD68 definitely lacks. Moving on to image quality, this display boasts an insane pixel density of 163 ppi thanks to its compact 27 inch form factor. I was totally blown away by the visuals, truly stunning 4K sharpness and fantastic color vibrancy. Just everything about it, the detail, color, blacks, are extremely impressive and it does this all while keeping its highly affordable price tag. Moving on to software, the 27UD68 packs in some rather questionable features. Starting off with the black stabilizer. This increases the visibility of a dark scene and is meant for gaming. Although for reasons unknown, LG thought it would be a good idea to ship the monitors, at least my model, with this being 50% on, making all of my content look incredibly washed out. That is until I found it and turned it off, and I noticed the difference immediately, as the blacks had a much truer feel to it. Additionally, 
LG offers Super Plus Resolution Technology, which effectively sharpens the image, making it look as if it were a higher resolution, which is not totally false, but from far away that is. Although, when sitting up close to the monitor, it just doesn't work. And the image looks very grainy and, in general, incomplete. Personally, I don't care for the gaming features. If you are going to implement features such as this one and market this as a gaming monitor, then why bother with the color calibrated 99% sRGB color spectrum coverage in the first place if you are going to have the gaming features override it anyways? Ugh. Despite that, the monitor also offers some flicker safe uh, functionality and a blue light reduction mode. So overall, this monitor sounds like a dream come true, right? Well, it doesn't come without its flaws either. But to be fair, these are very minor trade-offs and definitely shouldn't hold you back from purchasing it. Firstly, and most irritatingly, is the anti-glare matte finish on the display. It just doesn't work. And when viewing a white background such as Facebook or Twitter, you get this horrible rainbow grain as if it were a cheap cell phone screen protector. Although when watching movies or generally doing anything else besides looking at a blank white screen, this is not noticeable at all, and it shouldn't prevent you from picking up this monitor. It would have also been nice to see at least one USB port on the monitor as that's something it definitely, definitely lacks. The 27UD68 does suffer from a very minor amount of backlight bleed along the lo one lower corner, but this ultimately depends on your unit. Lastly, the stand is a bit underwhelming, only supporting tilt, but like I said earlier, I can forgive this due to the added base amount and, in contrast, the awesome price tag. Overall, if you're looking for the best 3840x2160 IPS display with superb performance and stunning quality without breaking the bank, look no further than the LG 27UD68. For the final verdict, this monitor receives a solid a minus and a Voyager seal of approval. So that's about it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, like this video if you liked it, uh, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also, I would like to give a humongous shout out to my friend Elias Tenois who helped me very greatly record this video. It would not be possible without him. So check out his all of his information, his, uh, his uh, uh, website, his Twitter, it's all in the description below. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.